Hi friends, brothers and sisters, my name is John Paul Felix and I come from Subang Jaya, Malaysia and I welcome you to Pathways of Hope. In today's Gospel taken from John, we see Jesus providing an image, a, a teaching about the process of pruning. He says here uh, in one of the quotes I, I read, he says, He cuts off every branch in me that bears no fruit, while every branch that does bear fruit he prunes so that it will be even more fruitful. Now, you and I, we, we're not gardeners. You know? I'm sure many of us are not gardeners. And you'll be thinking, what is pruning? You know, what does that even mean? So I, I too had to research. And what it means here, pruning here, is a process where you selectively remove branches from a tree, so a shrub or a bush. And the goal here is, number one, is to remove any unwanted dead branches. Number two, to then improve the tree's structure. Number three, most importantly, to help direct new healthy growth. Uh, to encourage growth which produces healthy and, and good fruits or flowers. Um, so in, in today's gospel, hence grapes, uh, in that sense. And what does this mean? What is Jesus trying to tell us through this, this image or this teaching? Uh, in the same way, Jesus wants to spiritually prune us as well by removing and eliminating those, those things that are dead in our lives, those unwanted things in our lives that stunt our growth, that stunt our growth in our character, our virtue, and even in our faith. Uh, and he wants to remove all our selfishness, to remove all our sinfulness so that we can grow in these virtues, we can grow in this behavior, that we can draw ultimately closer to God. Um, and this process of pruning, uh, I think two things I just want to share with you, brothers and sisters, is just two things. Uh, number one is that it is a very painful process, but it is a rewarding process. Uh, outcome. There is a rewarding outcome. It's a painful process, but it's a rewarding outcome. With any bad habit you want to kick out, anything that we want to move, uh, all these things that are unwanted and, and, and dead in, in, a, in a sense, uh, our desires, our want things that are not of God, our, our selfishness, our sinfulness, it, it will be a very difficult process because we're moving something that we have been living with for some time. We have been um, conditioned to think this way, conditioned to act this way, conditioned to um, follow up with this behavior on and on and on. And to remove it, it will be tough, it will be challenging. But even despite this process of pruning that will be challenging, from that pruning, uh, pruning process, it then fosters growth in us. To grow and bear in our fruits, to grow and, and blossom like flowers. Uh, for an instance, I still remember one area the Lord was really pruning me was my pride. Uh, I was very prideful when it came to ministry because I was like, I know ministry. I've been doing this for many years. You know, I, I grew up in this way. You know, so I know all the teachings. I know what to do. And, you know, just, let's, just let me do it from here. Uh, but the Lord really took my pride and he broke it. He shattered my pride. He said, no, uh, there's so much to learn. You need to have a teachable heart to learn from others, to learn from people around you, uh, to learn from materials, to have that openness to read you know, scripture, to read spiritual books as well, as well. And the Lord took it, took my pride, He shattered it, He broke it, and that's where humility came out from it. And brothers and sisters, today I, I'm able to grow in humility to recognize that, hey, all that I have, all that I own comes from God and is for God. Uh, and by growing in humility, I then become more reliant on Him. So that's one example that how, yes, the process, it was very difficult to be honest, a very difficult process because I had to unteach myself, I had to unlearn myself, I had to start from basics all over again. But through that, the outcome here was that I became more, um, grew, I was able to grow more in humility so that I can be able to learn more, to gain more what the Lord wanted to, to show me and to teach me. So that's number one, it's a painful process but rewarding outcome. Number two is that we need to actively surrender. To surrender in order for God to work. We need to surrender our desires, our wills, our own wants, our own comfortability for God to then work in us, to prune us, to remove all those unwanted things, all those selfish desires, all that sinful nature, so that we can grow uh, more in these virtues, to grow more in character and our faith. So, brothers and sisters, in order for us to surrender, we need to let go of our walls, our defenses, our security systems, and allow the Lord to work in us and through us. As it says in Galatians chapter 2, verse 20 to 21, I have been crucified with Christ, and it's no longer I who live, but Christ who lives in me. So we need to die to ourselves so that Christ may live more in me. So, my sisters, um, 
really let us today uh, allow the Lord to prune us, to remove all that hinders from us. It will be a challenging process. It will be a difficult process, but a rewarding outcome. Uh, it will be a process where we need to actively surrender to the Lord. But what's the goal here so that we can grow in faith, we can grow in virtue, that we can grow in character, that we can bear much fruit to serve the Lord, to love the Lord and His people. The best is just let allow ourselves to surrender ourselves and allow the Lord to prune us day by day, uh, each area that is unwanted, so we can grow in our virtues and grow closer to Him. All glory and praise to our God. God bless you.